I think the impact uh, test is actually pretty well set up as far as you know the initial background questions, and it has good a good area to ask about you know prior history of concussions, when the last concussion occurred, um, some medical background information that's helpful, and patients are usually pretty good at understanding the instructions with it. So what we do is we tell people we put their athlete in the room on their own, um, and we'll go in there and we'll start the test with them, and we explain that okay when each section comes up, slowly read the instructions. And I think if an athlete really is engaged and wants to do it properly, they're actually pretty, pretty easy able to follow it. The um, things that, of course, can complicate that, obviously, if a patient is super symptomatic, so it's, you know, they have a terrible headache or dizzy or something else, even before they start it, that can be hard. But that's like any kind of cognitive test. But the test itself is actually quite easy to administer, and usually patients get through it successfully and are able to fully engage in it.